I am superior! Uh, uh. Oh, hello. How are you doing? As I check our connection. A couple messages for the viewers. Hey, pick a section. Have a seat. I know, this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. Sorry, guys. Superior Octopus. I love this design for Spider-Man. One of my favorites. It's relatively new. Came out maybe two years ago. Maybe a little sooner or later. Give or take. I'm not sure, but the design is incredible. Um, this is my third time making the Superior Octopus. I really do like the way this looks. Really hoping Hasbro will give us one of these one day in the soon future. It's very possible. It's doable. It's just a repaint of the classic Pizza Spider-Man they've released over and over. This was commissioned. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to make him a Superior Octopus. At first, I told him I didn't want to do it because the legs were an issue. But I figured out the legs, guys. Yes, you guys are probably like, where are they? Where are the legs? I figured them out, and I'm going to show you in a second. But first, I want to run down this figure, man. This figure is pretty much a pizza Spider-Man body with a superior Spider-Man head with flat black. And the rest was gloss, but matted down afterwards. It's a gray with a little bit of green in it. The only gloss in it is that black tentacle that goes up on the greenish gray to his eyes that's the only gloss stripe everything else is matted down the eyes have a yellow trim around the border or in you know in between the the, the frame and the lens uh, same as the last one just a little thicker if you want you can click this card right here and see the last superior spider-man and compare them the other one had a little more work had some extra heads and hands but the figure does move as it's supposed to so don't be afraid to pose this figure around like your average Marvel Legend. But the head does go up and down, left and right. You get a little bit of pivot, nothing too much. Butterfly joints, of course, work. Shoulders go up and down. Bicep swivels. You get those double jointed elbows. Wrist hinge, wrist swivel. Ben Riley cuff, didn't sculpt it. Painted all the way up inside the ab crunch. Crunch as well, no problems there. All the way up. You do get a waist swivel works perfect thighs split out about that much double jointed knees ankle pivot ankle hinge everything functions as it's supposed to the legs let's talk about the legs came up with my own recipe um again i decided to not use the usb wires this time because those metallic bendy cables are pretty heavy and they hold the figure down and they they make them really top heavy these do also these are just some bendy wire, some uh, bendy tentacles I got on eBay for twenty dollars. It came in a set of ten, so I have six more. Um, some of them have open claws, some of them have closed claws. They are pretty cool. They came black. I had to paint them silver. Uh, you can bend them around and pose them pretty well. They do make the figure again a bit top heavy, but not as heavy as he would be if you had those metallic USB cables. I personally like these a lot. Because they're not as thick as Dr. Octopus's tentacles, but they're a lot longer and they have a lot more playability to them. So you can do a lot. The problem here is, again, they're top heavy. So I tend to bend his ankles forward to lean him back a bit just to be able to carry the extra weight. But he can carry the weight. The tentacles don't have to touch the ground. Um, in, this, in this pose, he is. One of the legs are on the ground, but they don't have to be. And I'll show you that later. But these were, you know what? Just to be honest, it was like a calling. One night at band camp, I was working, right? And I was about to go to bed. It was like four in the morning. And I saw this little piece of plastic. And I said, oh, this could be it. But I was so tired. But I was very inspired. And I wanted to just go right there. But I had to go to bed. And the minute I woke up, went straight to it. And... Oh, man, I was so excited because I felt bad, man. I told the guy I'd finish this custom in two weeks. Normally, I meet the deadlines. I wasn't able to meet this deadline. This took me a month. Uh, it took me an extra week just to do these legs. And stupid me because I had the piece on the floor the whole time in my son's, like, 
junk box and I overlooked it a thousand times and it was just like incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the key. I found this piece of gold lying around and I thought to myself, could this be it? I mean, I drilled those holes and I cut it up. It didn't look like this, nor did it look like this, but it is one of these pieces. It's from a paper plane. It's like a slingshot launcher. It has a rubber band attached. It looks more like this one right here, actually. Um, but one side is hollow. But it has a surrounding border and really sturdy edges where I thought maybe it'd be able to support those tentacles. So all I had to do was really cut it down, drill the holes, and sand it enough where it'd be pretty smooth. I posted this on Instagram as the key right after posting pictures of the superior octopus and nobody knew what I was talking about. They were like, what is it? I was like, gold, babies, gold. That slingshot handle was so long, I was able to make two of these pieces. And the one you saw is not this one. This one I decided to use because it has the plastic in the center of it, which would create more support for those legs. The top set would be separated from the bottom set so they wouldn't be able to rub and bend out of shape. All I needed to do was just glue them and sculpt them and then find something to connect to the peg hole in the back of the figure. So I did what any man would do, got some sculpt, and I took the 2099 back piece. It's one of the only things that fits snug into a pizza Spider-Man peg hole. And I cut that up, glued in the tentacles to the side of the plastic. When that dried, I used the sculpt to fill in the hollow inside of that plastic piece and then just pressed in the peg waited for that to dry up a little bit added a little more sculpt around it just to make sure everything was connected but the issue is these claws are not articulated they are really soft you can pretty much squeeze them if you wanted to they look good they're not sharp they're really soft they're, they're um smooth actually can't complain much though because dr octopus's tentacles his claws are not articulated either so if you get mad at me get mad at them get mad at yourself for wanting too much man you want your cake and eat it too that's a dumb phrase because i want the cake and eat it too anyway i'm getting lost look guys it fits finally you guys remember the last one if you click that card the tentacle back piece kept scratching the figure and I kept having to go back to repaint it. This time it fits really snug, no worries, it's not gonna fall off, we're good. On eBay, you can find these, I'm not sure if you can anymore, I found one link, there was only one link, it was very undescriptive, it just said Dr. Oct Tentacles, 20 bucks, 19.99 for 10 tentacles, I thought what a, an odd combination, 10. Just give me eight. But ten was cool, so now I got six extra. But some of the claws are open, some are closed. I may have mentioned that. They do come in black. The green is a little different. One open, one closed. Really soft and bendy. Almost like rubbery. You can flex them. I wouldn't waste your time in trying to reposition them because they are sculpted in a specific way, so they're just gonna bend back to the way they naturally wanna go. You can see the difference here. Not a problem, I think it's pretty cool though that they have one open, one closed. Now these things are really thick. There's not much to peg them into, so I had to cut them off at that point. But you can see that this bends really well. The metal in there is is pretty strong, so I think it's pretty durable. But I don't know, I've only had them for a short time and this is my first time using them. Who is Superior Octopus? Here's a quick rundown. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, the one we all love, got into a fight with this guy, Dr. Otto Octavius, AKA Dr. Dr. Octopus. Hey guys, guys, keep it down. <laughs> After defeating Spider-Man, he somehow got his brain into Spider-Man's body and became the Superior Spider-Man. Sorry, but I don't have his head anymore. Then later down the line, he became the superior octopus. And there you have it. Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus, superior octopus. You can see the difference in the legs between the two. I don't know why Dr. Octopus's legs are pointed up that way. They came out the box in that position. 
from what I know, you can heat them up and reposition them, but it's just odd. Overall, it's pretty cool. Nothing to complain about too much. I do like the superior tentacles a lot more, though. But it's not that big of a deal. I guess perhaps you can use Dr. Octopus's tentacles if you'd like. That could work. I just think they're a little too thick. You can see that these are a lot thinner. And they're a lot lighter, so they create less weight. If you see, he is standing on his own. The legs are up in the air. Looks like it's touching the ground, but it isn't. Just wanted to show you that. I know this seemed pretty long, but if you watch this video entirely, give yourself a round of applause. Yep, that's right, sir. The applause is for you, not for me. This video was long and you stood here to watch and wanted to know exactly how this was made. You should already know, but if you don't, I do appreciate you guys always coming by, showing love, hitting the thumbs up, spreading the word, showing support and showing all your friends the videos and keep coming back and just checking for the new stuff. Comment down below your thoughts on this custom. If you like the Superior Octopus, if you know anything about him, what are your thoughts on the character? Should Hasbro release one? Whatever you want to talk about, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, you are the man. See you soon. But if you choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right? Sing, 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 sing. Everybody.